Welcome to video two on using the Media Bay to create music inside of Cubase Pro 8.5. In this video, we'll use loops and samples to look at a different method to creating music inside of Cubase. Steinberg are producing a diverse range of content. I'm going to go to loops and samples and select the orchestral content and see if I can come up with some ideas that I can piece together and work into one project with a number of different sections. In the first video, we looked at how the media bay can transpose and time stretch MIDI files into the key and tempo of our project. Well, audio files are no different, so it's a simple matter of previewing the audio files and dragging and dropping them over into our project so we come up with some sort of collage that works for us. This is pure experimentation, but at the same time, it's so much fun. So now we're starting to mess around with sounds and genres that maybe we just don't normally have access to. You can see we can edit the volume by just clicking on the clip handles on the top. One of the neat things about this media bay is that, well, it's a library. So in a library, you can change the way you view or filter the information that you want to find. So I can go through and I can say, well, show me the category or show me the character. So I can see not only what type of instrument it is or what type of genre it is, I can also see well, what type of character is there. So it might be things like, you know, a dark sound or a bright sound, or it might be arpeggiated, or it might have a reverb on it. So all of these things we can define when we load in our own samples. And of course, all the factory content already comes tagged. So it's easy to find and locate it. It's not just about sound. It also contains many different types of track presets, channel strip presets, VST presets. Now, if your work involves putting sound to video, you can even have all of your video files stored in the media bay. Now this is all royalty free content, so I own this track that I'm creating. You can let your personality type dictate how organized you are inside of this media bay. Some people will go crazy. Other people will just want to find sounds as quickly as possible. We've got quite a traditional project already going on here. So let's look at how easy it is to actually merge different genres. This time I'm using the subcategory and genre to find something. I'm not sure Disco House is the way forward, but the good thing about this is I can just try different things. Okay, let's make sure the media bay is not doubling up on the sound we've dragged in. And copy and paste. It's certainly a different sound. I'm probably just getting too much of a Tom Cruise jumping out of the side of the plane visual in my head right now. So that's pretty interesting. I think the question I have to ask myself is, would I normally come up with that kind of sound? Probably not. I've gone back to the orchestral content pack. I just needed some sort of continuity between that, I guess, initial orchestral intenseness through to the place where I want to go, which ideally I think is some sort of Latin scene. And I think this works. It's got some suspense and then it seems to peter out quite nicely. That's a nice dynamic right on the end there, so I'm going to put that symbol in there. Okay, I think that's enough. Now let's go back to the Latin content set and try and build a Latin section here. Just for a complete change of scene. So I found a trumpet that I think seems to fit right in the middle of the phrase. Once again, I'm just building tracks by adding ideas. I don't know how it's going to turn out.
I think it could do with a rhythm section. So I'm gonna add some bass and drums. And I've not added this so far into the track, really, apart from my crazy electro experiment earlier on. Let's go back and take a look at the section before and see if these two sections work together dynamically. That's pretty cool, but I want this more contemporary section to really pack a punch. So I'm going to go back to more in the home screen and go to track presets and select audio. So Cubase has thousands of presets. I'm going to type in shaker and see if I can really make this shaker stand out. So I drag and drop it straight over onto the track. And it's added a reverb. I'm just going to show you what I did again. Pick up and drag and drop. And it's added a compressor and also an EQ. So these are a starting guideline, I guess. If we want to make it just stick through that little bit more, we can add some more air, so some more high end in the EQ. Okay, it's more of a jazz bass sound, so let's type in jazz bass, and it gives us a jazz bass preset, which we can now, of course, drag and drop straight over onto the bass track. Just make sure we've got the bass copied and pasted. Okay, I can hear some chorus on that straight away. I'm not a massive chorus fan, but once again, that's a cool thing. It's just a pointer, so I can turn that off. I want to go and find my VST air brack, because I think there's an amplifier in there that will really fatten this low end up in this section. Of course, having the low end will really make this last section stand out. So I've got the green T setting. Yeah, that's good. Let's solo the piano part here so you can really hear the difference. Just going to type in piano and you can see all the piano audio presets that come up. Just want something that's going to brighten it, maybe make it stand out, maybe add a little bit of atmosphere. Yeah, that could work. It's just made that piano that little bit more intense. Let's see if we can do something to the trumpet. Yeah, nice. It's EQ'd it put a reverb on it, so it sounds like that trumpet is now just off in the distance somewhere. Makes it sound a little bit spookier. Once again, let's completely mess with it and find another genre, just quickly. Media Bay just makes it so easy to take a track and move it in another direction. Let's go back and revise what we've done so far. So the first section. Second section. Builds a little bit more. Third section takes us back to more of an atmospheric place. Let's change the key. We can change it at any point in time and the whole project changes. We can also change the tempo. The tempo track gives us more dynamic control over the song as well because we could start, say, slower and use a tempo increase to add a little bit more intensity to the track. Recent versions of Cubase have come with the acclaimed Z-Plane Elastic Pro pitch shifting and time stretching algorithm. This has meant that things like tempo changes are far more realistic than ever before. The new version of Cubase Pro 8.5 comes with the new version 3. This allows us to draw in large tempo changes over not just one track, but multiple tracks with absolute confidence that the sound is going to be realistic. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you around the new features inside the Media Bay in Cubase Pro 8.5. Steinbeck do a fantastic job of introducing new innovative features that help us be as creative as possible with our music. There's lots of new videos up on the Steinberg YouTube website, so please take a moment to check out the new features and also have a look at the tutorial videos which help us use them better. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. Enjoy being creative with your music.